Most people have heard of Microsoft Office through Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, or Excel, but aren't familiar with the other open source alternatives that are available on Linux, Mac, and Windows operating systems. One of these Office suites is called LibreOffice and comes pre-installed on all Linux Mint computers. To find LibreOffice, navigate to your menu, go to the Office category, and you will see a large number of different programs that you can use to perform various tasks. We're going to focus on the Microsoft Word alternative, LibreOffice Writer. Navigate to LibreOffice Writer and click. If this is your first time opening LibreOffice, you'll be greeted with a tip menu. These tips will show you around LibreOffice and you're welcome to view them at your own leisure. Just like with Microsoft Word, you can use LibreOffice for all of your document writing needs. This could be anything from an essay to a resume or even a recipe. To start typing, click anywhere in the document and begin using your keyboard. If you need to fix or change a word, you can use your mouse to click in the middle of that word or click and drag to select it. You can also change the style by clicking the bold button, italicize, or underline to change how your text looks. If you want to change the font, you can highlight your text and go to the font section. There's a very long list of fonts, which you can scroll through to find the one that suits your needs. You can also change the size, again by highlighting and changing the font point. When you're ready to save your document, go to File save as and this will create a dialog window where you can save your document and choose where it is saved. First select the name and add your title. The panel on the left will show you where you are saving your document. Currently I have the documents folder selected. This means that when I save my document and I need to open it again I can go to my documents folder and it should be there. LibreOffice will automatically save all of your documents as ODT files, but you can change this by selecting the file type and setting it to whatever you need. This includes the Microsoft Office formats like Doc and DocX. If you want to make sure that your document is compatible with anyone you send it to, we recommend changing it to DocX. Then hit the Save button. When you do this, you will get a confirmation window that tells you that there may be some changes if you save your document in the Microsoft DocX format. This usually is not a problem, so you can check on Use Word 2007 365 format, which is the DocX format. If I close my window, we can check to make sure that our document is saved in the Documents folder. If I navigate to my home directory, I can then go to my Documents folder and here we find our document that we just created. I can double click on it to open it in LibreOffice. Now I can continue working on my document just like I would with any other document writing tool. If you have never used a document writing tool like LibreOffice or Microsoft Word, we recommend checking out some other YouTube videos to get a quick tutorial on how to get the full functionality out of these tools. Thanks for watching.